Well, well, well. <laughs> Long time no see, I guess. So, I'm sorry for that, that I haven't uploaded a video in like the past five days. So, let me welcome you. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another episode of ARK Additional Adventures. Whoa! So, as mentioned, I'm very sorry for the fact that I haven't made a video in like the past five days. And there's a very, very simple explanation for that. I was sick. I was not feeling very well, don't you worry. I didn't have the virus that is currently making its rounds, you know. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know, oh, oh god, you. You know what I'm talking about, right? So, I was not feeling okay. I had a fever. I, my, my head was, my head, I had a headache, like, constantly. My bones hurt, like, everything in my body just hurt. If, 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 I don't know, if someone, like, hit me with a truck or something. Or if my entire, uh, immune system got ripped out of my body. Uh, yeah, so, uh... <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should have mentioned that in the community tab, but I completely forgot that I have that. So yeah, sorry for that, but I sure hope that from now on, at least for a decent amount of time, I will I will be able to make videos almost every day. I sure hope that I can, and yeah. Of course, guys, if you enjoy this video at any point, please do me a huge favor and smack that like button. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, simply just subscribe and hit that bell, alright? Alright. Okay, so in the last episode, we tamed the Spinosaurus, of course, the Spinosaurus, I already, <laughs> it's not the Spinosaurus, I mean, it's the Spinosaurus-like creature, it's an Oxalia that we tamed last episode, and this thing is actually quite strong, I leveled it a little bit, and yeah, so this thing, despite the fact that it has the, the lowest health and damage from all the bigger creatures in additional creatures to World Arc, you know, sp specifically the theropods and carnivores, it still is pretty good. It can protect me from smaller creatures because they don't want to mess with me, etc, etc. Also, I finally gave it a name. Water Arrow. I really like that name suggestion. Honestly, it was a really nice name idea. Um, because for those who don't know the, the context for this name, it's pretty simple. This thing has been standing around in this very same spot, very close to my base spot, ever since episode 1, and it hasn't moved a single bit ever since. I actually explained that in like the last episode, but yeah, um, yeah, that's basically it, because I don't know why it wasn't moving, I'm pretty sure it was just a glitch, but I'm not 100% sure, uh, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, that's beside the point. Really like the name, it's a really nice name, it really fits the creature, and yeah, uh, so you can already see I am close to the green obelisk. Of course, in the last episode I crafted a few cryopods. You can see I also upgraded my gear, I made myself a long neck rifle, etc. etc. So, because today I want to go over to the green obelisk and look for a specific creature, mainly a creature that can harvest wood, because I don't want to go and tame myself a creature like a mammoth or a Casteroides, you know, the giant beavis, because I specifically need a of course, a wood harvester. I know beavers and mammoths are good at wood harvesting, but I want a modded creature that can harvest wood, okay? I want a modded one. And yeah, I know exactly that this area around the green obelisk is classified as a jungle. <clears throat> Sorry for that. And yeah, it's classified as a jungle, so the creature that I need should be around there. Okay, you made those noises. <laughs> Going to forgot that you make those noises, man. Wasn't on here in like five days so yeah uh actually i could have like uh where's my map i could have like walked around uh you, you know like the the big jungle in the bottom right corner i could have go i could actually go there but you see it's like quite far away actually because the one specific creature that i need is a specific monkey from one of the mods that i have in my single player that can actually harvest wood and uh yeah what are you? Wait, I know what you are. One of these big boys, a Brocogenius. This is like the second one that I've seen very close to the surface. Like, you are probably beached. Yeah, this guy is okay. It's it's probably stuck. I wish this would happen to like a like a max level one or something. <clears throat> you can still hear I'm not a hundred percent uh bit or healed, whatever. Let me disable gamma, please. There we go. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> God, God, my throat. So yeah, uh, the green obelisk is just right over there. Yeah, Oxalia is not the fastest one. I mean, it's okay. Thanks, thanks for this game. 
I mean, it's not imprinted, so that's definitely because it's, it's not so, that fast, but it's not meant to be super fast. Oh yeah, right, I completely forgot. Over there is the redwood, but the trees just don't load when you're far away. Oh, hey, now walls. I definitely need to tame one of these guys. Uh, okay, that's a Basilo. Definitely need to tame one of these guys because um, they can harvest silica pearls. And oh, hey, a Giga Titan! You see this giant menace? What level is that? That is a 174 Giga Titan. Oh, I actually came over here for a wood harvester, for the big monkey that can harvest wood. But, huh. Oh, this is tempting. These things are quite rare, actually, Giga Titans, and they're... You might, you can't, you probably can't see that, but they actually have wings, and they, they are quite decent at flying. This is very tempting. What are you doing down there, sir? Oh, yeah, right, it's a Bronto Scorpio. They usually chill at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, this is tempting. This is very, very tempting, not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, well, let me just look around because a, a wood harvester. I mean, we need one. But I mean, if if there's a 174 Giga Titan, hell yeah! Because these mantises, like like the Giga the mantis Giga Titan, is something else than the Arc Vanilla Mantis. Trust me. Uh. Let's see, if I don't see any trees falling, then there's none of those big monkeys. Hmm. Wait, I saw something over there. Oh hell, there's here. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about these guys, Rambays. You you might look at them and like uh, be like, uh Crector, this is just a Megapithecus. Yeah, of course it is, but it's vanilla balanced and it has a few unused and new animations and abilities, and this thing can harvest wood. Sadly, it's a low level. Hmm. So they spawn. I know they spawn over here. They definitely don't spawn over there. Are those Emphasians? Those are Emphasians, but you are on the opposite side of this river, so I don't need to worry about you. So, yeah, Rambase. Definitely, we need one of these guys. They can harvest wood. They're quite nice, despite the fact that the Megapithecus has been. Is Basically one of the most overused creatures in all of ARC, specifically mods. But I really like this thing because, well, it's vanilla based. It doesn't really look that dumb compared to some of the overhaul Megapithecus. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, usually these things are not that common. By the way, if you want to know, they're from the mod Shadowless Tameable Bosses, so uh, they're not that common. So I assume this is the only one in this area. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, then let's let's tame that. Uh, or is there another one? Oh, wait, that's uh, that's Denochirus. I won't go close to that thing. So yeah. Okay then, I guess no wood harvester today. Let's tame that 174 Giga Titan. I just need to keep him away from the water because if they touch the water, they will start flying. And uh, when they start fly, when they set to the sky, I can't uh, tame them anymore. Oh, hello, 156 Scorpio Venator. Definitely need one of you guys sooner or later. Okay, I guess the... Okay, first of all, I'll take care of this... The... Oh, wait, this is a raptor. All right, yeah, you know, I'm still taking care of it. Give me... Where's your corpse? All right, he, he will harvest it. Yep. This is also quite a nice color, not gonna lie. Uh, luckily, I sit on my Oxalaya. Otherwise, this thing might be able to pin me down. Okay, so, um, hmm. Let me just grab this and see how much torpor damage I'm dealing because I, I'm not supposed to hit the butt because you see, you see the buff there in the Austin Spyglass bug armor. Essentially, when it's standing, it has a slightly increased defense on its butt because, you know, of the wings. The wings are now covered because the abdomen down there, this part, is covered in these uh, armor plates that are actually wings. Covering my sight. Yep, knew that you would do that. Understandable. Alright, you can't impale me, I know that. 
Yeah, no, he can't impale me, which is good. But he can do that. Luckily, oh, damn, that, does, that did a good amount of damage, actually. Oh, you see that? You saw that? That was the execution attack that only works on players. And he said that he didn't grab me. Luckily, these guys are slow as heck. So, uh... Let me, like, lure him a little bit more into this part of the island. Uh, don't mess with that Segnosaurus, please. There we go. You're probably gonna do a jump attack. You do. Let me, like, grab this. Oh, wait. Uh, that was the wrong button. And, okay, you're no longer messing with that Pecky, then. Understandable. Yep, you can't grab me off my mount. Luckily. <laughs> Look, he's, he's sad that he didn't grab me. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay, the problem is that, um... Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. The problem is bleeding damage. Of course, slows you down. Can I? Can I run? At least I can run. All right. Let me eat this. This way I can heal a bit. That was the wrong button once again. Okay, it doesn't take reduced damage. Okay, then I can just hit its butt. I thought it. Oh no! Wait, right when it, uh, when it, when the wings are are open, then it takes increased damage. At least the red pan is healing. Uh, is keeping me safe and my oxalia as well. Uh, I just realized I shot it with uh, stone arrows, didn't I? Yep. Well, oh, you sad again? All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just run around like this. As long as I can eat a corpse, everything should be fine, like yours. Perfect. Come on, jump. Perfect. Ow. This is perfect. Whenever he does that attack, he's, you get such a big opening. By the way, I see that he gets very low in health, so... What I'm gonna do is... Pretty simple. Follow me, please. I simply just let him attack a corpse. Come on, die. Come on, attack this. There we go, fully healed. Uh, let me switch to my rifle again. Honestly, these, these things are so cool. They look so cool. Uh, by the way, I made a full-on taming guide about this thing, uh, where I showcase all of its attacks, because it has a lot of moves. Did you, maybe you want to check that out. And, yeah, great, I'm slowed. Okay, this is getting a little bit too dangerous for my taste. Come on, run already. And I'm honestly... Uh, oh crap, I don't have any water. Oh, damn, he actually impaled that guy. And completely forgot that Segnosaurus just do the biggest wreck doll in all of Ark. Yep, there, he slaps the creature multiple times. Ow. I'm... S oh, wait. Stuck? This is good. He's actually stuck. Uh, let me equip my crossbow, please. This thing is stuck. This is perfect, honestly. Come on, go to sleep. 
deadly you don't take any headshots. Come on, almost there. By the way, you can also breed these guys, and let me tell you this, an imprinted one of these things uh, is quite strong. One more arrow, and that should be enough. Come on. Yep, there we go. Asleep. And you need six raw prime meat. Alright. Okay, this is... I have that. Yeah, I actually have that. This is good. Okay, let me just do this. There's a raptor. I'm gonna take care of that, don't you worry. Uh, raptor, come on. There we go, much better. Alright, you were over there. Good. Uh, let me just do this. Let me press... Whistle? Uh, let me press whistle. Let me whistle passive, please. Uh, and I grab this. And then also just a tiny bit of the normal meat. Uh, no compi. Uh, that's just Dalo. I can take care of that later. Get this, look how the way he sits. That is so nice. Uh, you get all of these things. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't take uh, too long, I, I presume. But yeah, let me just quickly take care of that. Oh wait, no, that's a Benguela. I don't need to take care of that dude. But how about you? There we go. Okay, you know what? Um... I fully accept a almost max level Giga Titan. Because then we actually have a pretty decent flyer that allows us to fly to the giant um, swamp slash jungle biome in the, you know, in the bottom right corner. You know what I'm talking about, the bottom right corner of this map. Okay, uh, yeah, this shouldn't take too long, I assume. So, guys, I'll... Oh, goddamn, great, thanks, Tree, for that. You ruined that. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later when this thing is tamed and when we are back at base. Alright, here we go. Of course, just take a shit, why not? Okay, so here is your saddle, mister. Or miss. By the way, if you have a name for this beautiful lady, give her, uh, just write it down in the comment section below, okay? Okay. Uh, there we go. So, this thing has a crap ton of moves. A crap ton of moves. I, I don't like this flying bush right now. Uh, let me just move over there. There we go. Okay. A lot of moves. Uh, a lot of emotes too, because apparently mantises um, are quite emotional for some reason. Okay, so left click is just the normal claw slash. Pretty standard forward. Right click is the hair scatter. Because this works pretty similar to the moth spores, and a lot. Of, and one person told me, I forgot your name. Sorry, by the way. A person, a viewer of mine, said that um, these spores, since they work similar to the moth spores, actually drain the food of certain creatures, or basically of all creatures, which is really nice to know. Thank you. C is the is the retreating hair scatter. I think I know what this is, so let me just move forward a bit. Yeah, you can see I put the spores in front of me and walk backwards. Uh, these things are not that fast on land because they're supposed to be, well, ambush hunters. Then let me just do it like this. Come on, sports, leave. Leave me alone. Then we have X, which is to, co to toggle combat mode. So now we actually go into the really juicy kind of stuff. So, while in combat mode, I can press Shift and X to do the leap. Really, <clears throat> God damn it, my voice. Really nice, not gonna lie. Really nice attack. Uh, then I have to go back into combat stance by pressing X once again. And if I press Alt and X, that will be the heavy cross slash. Alt and X, please. That is amazing. Then do it like this. Now, if I press 
left control, I can pin players or creatures. Well, of course, I didn't pin anything there, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to check these out, attacks out later on creatures, actually. Uh, then we have shift plus left control while in combat stance, of course. This is the execution attack, and it one-shots players. Only players, by the way, so we won't test this out. Look how sad he is. Yeah, so this sad em emotion, this kind of sad animation, he always does that when he doesn't grab anything with the execution attack. But as mentioned, you can only grab players with that, and no matter what armor you have, it simply just ignores armor and one-shots the player. It just one-shots you. And you saw that this thing did that multiple times in the wild, so be careful. Then, if we enter... What were those all attacks? I think those were all attacks. Then, of course, we have O, which is a raw. Really nice raw. Really nice raw. Of course, spacebar. We can fly. This is what I mean. Look at those wings. Let me land, please. And I landed into the wrong direction. Okay, okay, good. So, now we go to all the emotions. Shift plus X. Which is... Uh, a no, okay. Alt plus X is a yes. This is hilarious, honestly. Like, this way you can, like, communicate to players that don't have mics or whatever. This is, like, really, this is funny. Then, left control is a sinister plotting. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. He's plotting something. I just don't know what. Then, shift plus left control would be I don't know. As mentioned earlier, I made a full-on fleshed-out guide about this thing, so yeah. Uh, right control is play dead, and this is hilarious. Okay, you can see where I am, right? Now look at this. Left, uh, right control. Yeah, I just got smushed it to the ground. I wish he would lay on the ground a little bit longer. Um, that would be more interesting, honestly. Then we have shift plus right control, and it starts raining. Thanks, game. Shift plus uh, right control would be deny. Yep, oh, he doesn't want to accept whatever you give him. And then alt plus right control is anger, which is actually my favorite of, out of all the emotions. Alt plus right control. <laughs> he is just so angry. And you, by the way, you can spam these. You can just do this as much as you want. You can do that with every one of these emotions. So, of course it had to start raining. Of course it had to. By the way, look how massive these things are. Like, this is a very large building. Uh, okay, like it's like two walls high, but still. Look how massive these things are. Like, the, the vanilla mantis is nothing compared to this thing. And yeah, as you can see, it's way faster in the sky than on the ground. Sorry for the rain, but, you know, I can't control the, the weather really. Well, technically speaking, I can, but I don't really want to do it. Uh, let me attack this Demetrodon. Let me land. Okay. So... Okay, this is good damage. Yeah, this is some good damage. Uh, then, let me... You know, since the, the Slash is the one attack that you do the most, that was... Shift and Control, right? Now, that was this. Right. There's so many moves that you just forget them every now and then. Come on. Die, frog. The DPS is also ridiculous on these things. Okay. Let me enter this. I think it was shift and X. Yep, that was it. Shift and X. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Uh, Can I pin you, or will you just die? I think you're just gonna die. You won't die. Okay, then. Enter the combat stance again. And I think this was all the next. No, okay, this was the double cross slash. I'll leave you alone, Androsarchus, don't you worry. Yeah, these things are really good flyers. Okay, it was this, and then shift plus alt. Okay, I need to move again. Uh, yeah, just control. And I meshed it. Just this sad little head. Wildcard, don't, uh... Just ignore me, alright? <laughs> Can I pin turtles? I'm not 100% sure. I cannot. Alright, I cannot. Oh, I slow you down, boy. 
this is really good damage, not even gonna lie. Alright, okay, you have 4,000 health. I cannot level uh, movement speed because it basically counts as a flyer. A little bit more into this, more stamina. Okay, 5k health, this is actually pretty good. Okay, you got a decent amount, actually. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let me, like, fly into the desert. Should I just fr fly into the desert and, like, mess with the mantises over there? <laughs> and execute this Bronto. Yeah, you're mostly just gonna do, like, the normal right click because the uh, whole... Because of the whole thing that you have to go into the combat stance and all that. I mean, this deal is good damage, not even gonna lie. Okay, that was the wrong button. That, okay, that hits twice and deals so much damage, holy. And I got another level 2, interesting. Uh. Okay. Now, can I see how much damage you in how how much you increase with a single level into damage? Okay. Like, before I gave it this one level, it did, like what, like one hundred ninety-seven, right? And now it deals more than two hundred. It's a Thorn Dread Reaver level one seventy-four. Honestly, you don't see these creatures that often. And it's a 174 on top of that. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't know how useful they would be on this map, because uh, they, 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 like, they're very, very fast and they can drift. Yeah, they can drift. I made a fully fleshed out guide on these things. You can check it out. That's another Dread Reaver. Oh, yeah, there's a normal Mantis. Oh. Uh. Right. Draco Vendetta. So you have lightning enabled. We don't even have lightning weapons on this map. Hmm. I call Hex. I call Hex. Okay, uh... I don't really want... I don't really want to go to that... To those other mantises over there, but these... Just... Okay. Uh, that's a Giga, right? That is a Giga, I knew it. Okay, let me just show you the size comparison between these things. Look at that, that's ridiculous. I'm like... I'm like twice as tall, alright? I'm like twice as large and... I think like twice as long. You don't stand a chance, boy. Why are you even trying? Yeah, I won't mess with that Giga, though. <laughs> even if I can't stay in the air. I'm also cold. Deserts are weird. Deserts are very weird. But yeah, this is literally all I wanted. And, oh, oh, okay, now we have, like, a bunch of Stygian Molochs that are a decent level. Huh. Now, hmm. compared to that one that I found uh, in episode 3, was it? Yeah, episode 3. Hmm. This is just... Yeah, okay, I can already see that there's a bunch of awesome stuff in the desert that we definitely need to tame. That's for sure. Hmm. I think this is all. I think this is all before it turns dark, come on. But yeah, guys, I guess this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a huge favor and smack that like button. Hmm. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit that bell. Have an absolutely amazing and beautiful day, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.